I'm Hannah, and I'm here with some awesome members of Nothing More for their show tonight with Periphery, which is going to be pretty badass. Do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself yeah. to the position? Yeah, yeah, I'm Mark, a guitar player of Nothing More. And uh, yeah, we're on tour with Periphery and Woven War, and thank you, scientists. Thank you, scientists, right now. So it's a sweet tour from start to finish. Every uh, every band member is just a, an accomplished player, so everybody's got to be on their A game for sure. <laughs> right, it's so, a constant yeah. battle every night. Yeah, yeah, pushing but, each other to yeah, limits. Yeah, yeah, it's good. We're all on the same team though, so it's it's a it's a good, healthy competition type of thing. Nice. Negative. Um, I've been a big. We're we're all periphery fans for sure, and as well as as I lay dying and O oh Sleeper. Definitely, yeah. Shane was a big, big uh, guitar player inspiration of mine. So badass. So yeah. more like progressive metal, more progressive than flow. Anyway, so totally. Sure. Yeah, I met Johnny 15 years ago, and. We, the band didn't totally start then, but we started touring 10 years ago when Dan joined the band, or bass player. We had a couple bass players before him, but he had the brilliant idea of uh, the, how we should play outside our hometown. Right. So, yeah, yeah. That's it, step one. And, and uh, so we did. He fixed up his grandma's RV, got it running, and uh, what we, kind of we RV hit the road. It? Sorry to interrupt. Uh, 1976 Vandura. Mmm, solid. My band has a 91 Vandura right now. No way! Yeah, yeah. That's awesome. I don't know what it is with Vanduras, but those things are bulletproof, and I feel like every band that starts either has a Vandura or some form, uh, form of weird SUV. That's rad. That's yeah. really cool. We we actually named, uh, we, we did a couple EPs and then a full length and kind of a compilation of those mm -hmm. made an album called Vandera with a few <laughs> new songs on it. I think I saw that. Just because that RV actually burned down oh, no. because uh, it wasn't meant to pull a trailer, so mm -hmm. we did. So the back of it was was literally coming in half, and you could see the road. So we took it to a welder <laughs> and to you know give it some fortification. Yeah. And. Um, they ended up catching the interior on fire. Oh no. So yeah, totally burned up, but we were so broke that we just cleared out all the char smell as much as we could and kept touring with it. <laughs> we would put in some lawn chairs. And, right, I was going to say. Yeah, yeah. We had a little pee funnel to a hole outside of the, the RV. And, uh, That's class right funny. there. Yeah, yeah. Total classy. Awesome. Um, oh man. But, but yeah, we... Um, you know, we, we didn't think a label or radio would ever probably be in our future. Um, as we just didn't get much attention, and whenever whenever we did, it's like this is cool, but I have no idea what to do with it. And so we just kind of kept going, building our um, region as far as Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, awesome. being from San Antonio, and um, you know, and we we just believed in Plan A, no Plan B and just kept pushing and pushing and up until a year and a half ago, two years ago, then finally all the labels came at once. Of course, that's how it happened. So we, yeah. we took our time and made the right decision um, with, with the people that were most passionate, which is 11.7. And we're really excited how things are turning out and how much radio really took to the band and the songs. So we're super pumped and that's kind of, I guess, our story in a nutshell. Nice, awesome. Well, yeah, you guys are definitely getting a ton of play. Um, even uh, KBPI, our local station here, they're really selective on who they play. Um, and I'm super stoked that they started pumping your music recently. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those things where it's like you know you've made it if you're on KBPI, at least in Denver. So. Nice. Yeah. No, it's it's our best radio market, so it's really really cool. The last time we were here, we sold out the marquee. Yeah. So it was great, over 500 people. And tonight is uh, yeah, but this summer music. I'm right. Yeah, here, Summit Music Hall. <laughs> Sun, Summit Music Hall. Yeah. And I know there's 900 pre-sale, and it'll it'll probably be close to sold out if not sold out. So. Oh yeah, definitely. So it's super cool. We're, we're definitely all pumped to be here today. Um, technically, I feel like Dan's an original member, but because we didn't actually start touring until he joined the band. Um, so Johnny and I are original, um, and Dan's pretty much original. <laughs> and then Paul joined the band five years ago. 
he was in a band called Pandemic, and we toured with them a lot. And uh, we we had a couple different drummers. Whenever our drummer Johnny started singing, um, that's actually a big part of the story too. Uh, <laughs> he, he was our drummer, mm -hmm. and he we just had several five different singers, and it was just time to keep it in house. And he was down for the job. Yeah. <laughs> um, so so he he took up the front man position and owned it. We believed in him. We all sang harmony then too, so. Um, you kind of knew what he was, what he could do before. Yeah, he yeah, totally. It. He had the best yeah. voice out of the three of us. Nice. So, um, so we had a couple different drummers after that, kind of more hired gun type of guys. And Pandemic, Paul's band, they started slowing down, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and we were looking for another drummer. Uh, more of, definitely, uh, I mean, we were always open to a permanent member. It just had to make, make sense. Um, so since we had already toured with them a bunch, we knew the guys, they were all really cool, good dudes, family, um, and we knew we could play. So he was pretty much a shoe in We, we tried out nearly a hundred guys, and his, but as soon as he called me, it was, it was like, yeah, he knew yeah, it was yeah, it. yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. so, so that was really, really, really good. Um, yeah, five years ago. Um, we couldn't settle on a name for a long time, as most bands um, tend to come across that battle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so we joked with the idea of being nothing for a long time, and then um, Johnny had the idea of it being nothing more, and something that was really important for he and I was uh, going to shows and of, of bands that you love and it's like you look up to these guys and then you find out they're dicks um, and that's God that's so true so yeah, many times yeah well, ab oh. absolutely and and that ruins it and then the music yeah. becomes crap um, in your eyes and but it's it's the complete opposite when it's a good band and it's yeah. like you find other good people and then it's like oh man the music's totally changed and it it makes it better so we and yeah we just wanted to be nothing more than normal guys and, uh, and approachable. And we're all music enthusiasts. We all share that love. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, there's no point in having an ego or, or anything like that. So we're nothing more than people. That's so. awesome. Thanks. I think that's probably one of the best um, why you named yourselves that stories that I've mm -hmm. heard. Nice. Um, most of them, it's, it's, like, um, it's like, oh, it's our name. And we just added to it, or uh, it's like, oh, we just picked something that wasn't taken on, you know, the internet. But that's awesome. So I'm glad there's a little bit more of something Thanks. to yeah, that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Started with nothing. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. Thanks. Um, um, I mean, uh, music has always been special and sort of spiritual, something different. So it's just so powerful. It can. You change your life with a song, it'll uh, give you goosebumps, make the hair stand up on your arms, and um, I want, I just loved, I grew up singing um, and traveled um, nationally and internationally in like a boys choir type of thing before my balls dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and then I wanted to be a real man and play a real instrument, and so my dad tried to teach me. I'm so me. glad yeah. you just nice. said that. Yeah, well. Um, <laughs> I, my dad tried to teach me guitar at nine, mm -hmm. uh, acoustic, and I, it hurt my fingers, so I was too young, I didn't get it. Um, but I came back on my own around 14, had this sweet uh, electric guitar with a built-in amp in it. Mm, it was, solid. Oh, it sounded like garbage, <laughs> but I loved that garbage. <laughs> yeah, well that's not the point yeah. at that age, it's to, you know, what is it, learn smoke on the water and get girls crawling your window, yep. like that's nice. the point, right? Nice. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but I immediately took to it, and then my high school life was pretty much stay home and play guitar because I loved it so much. Yeah. So, and then I, I met Johnny, and he was the first guy that I played with, uh, besides my older brother, but like that we were down to like write music together. Yeah. And it just kind of changed my life. Nice. So. Awesome. It's different for every song. Um, sometimes it's a guitar riff. Um, sometimes it's a lyrical concept um, and uh, something that we all like to talk about and sort of vibe on and really kind of come up with this 
uh, overall theme for what this song is going to be. Um, we, we definitely really enjoy having those conversations and just just taking the time to do that instead of throwing something together. You know, that may have been the process in the past when we first started um, when we were kids, but it's just it's just gotten more, I guess it's matured um, like anything and yeah, we, we just take our time and we're all collaborative in the process so if I don't like a bass riff or if I don't like the, the vocals or the lyrics or whatever it may be we all have the same say and we won't rest until it's done unfortunately that means <laughs> a long ass time typically Yeah. <laughs> but that's that's how it goes and the past has shown that four minds are better than one. Awesome. Do you guys scrap a lot of songs then? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 There's there's so many parts and um, yeah riffs, uh, lyrics that have been thrown out or that in our our chest or rather flash drive of goodies or whatever. <laughs> right. <laughs> that, that haven't been used yet. So and I'm constantly writing and as as we all are individually, just gathering more and more just to, for the future. Yeah, it's uh, it's really the best and the worst. Um, you know, you you get to play sometimes sold out shows, and sometimes you know the stage is a corner stage, and you have no idea how you're gonna fit your stuff up there, uh, <laughs> especially with us because we have a lot of stuff. Yeah. If you've seen our live show. Yes, um, I've seen I've seen a few photos and I've seen a few videos. It's actually actually the first time I'm gonna see you live, which I'm okay. really stoked about. Awesome. Yeah. Very yeah, cool. so, but, um, yeah, you have a few things up there. Yeah. A few yeah, things. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we like to make it a show. Um, but, uh, and you get to travel. Traveling's great. It's something everybody, you know, is envious about. But really, it's like today I've just kind of seen the venue and kind of seen the surrounding businesses, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. And that's, for the most part, what I see in every city. Sometimes it's like, okay, let's actually go out and, and spend some money. Yeah. You know, um, do some touristy things, but a lot of the times you can't afford it right now. So, yeah. Um, and then the worst part is obviously being away from our families, our wives, girlfriends, children, etc. Girlfriend, wife. So, wife. Wife. I am married. Uh huh. Awesome. I got a little two-year-old man back home too. Very nice. Is he gonna yeah. be a musician too? Uh, Pushing him into that. He likes making noise and stuff. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll we'll see. We. We definitely want him to do whatever he wants to do, or is passionate about. Well, with a dad that plays music, he'll probably pursue it, I'd assume. Well, we'll see. My, my dad was Air Force, you know, and straight up military. He sort of played the drums, and he loved Beach Boys and the Beatles, and I hated those things growing up. Oh, so. really? <laughs> do you yeah. like them now? Uh, yeah, I can definitely appreciate it. Now. What's your yeah. favorite kind of music, then? Um... Ah, uh, that really depends. Um, I, I, if, if I had to name a favorite artist, I like Thrice a lot. Nice. Um, I, I love seeing their uh, their journey, their growth, and how they've changed as a band, their sound, and as people. And, um, yeah, lyrically, I, it's crazy stuff. Really, Definitely. really good. Now yeah, that that P funnel, we were talking about yeah. P funnel before. <laughs> yes. So. How could we forget the P-Funnel? Right. So, <laughs> so how it would work is, so there's a funnel and then there's a hose. Mm -hmm. And then the oh, hose... Oh, you splurged would, with a hose. It didn't just go right out? Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. It, there was a, the hole was in the That's side right. and not the ground. Oh, so, so it had to have a little... Bingo. Gotcha. So it was always sticking out, though. Okay. So we like to think that in Baton Rouge, somebody thought I, I, I don't know I don't know how they could think it's a beer bong or anything but I mean it's a hose but no, we, like, we like to think no. they pulled the hose out and got piss all over themselves oh my because, god because yeah somebody stole our piss hose <laughs> <laughs> that's one hell of a souvenir hey, though you, when you think about it you'd be like yeah I got I got this really famous band's piss hose that's horrible maybe, why would you want that I don't know maybe you'll go back and <laughs> they'll be like hey remember this can you sign it jeez yeah that'd be awkward that's awesome, though. Well, sort of awesome. <laughs> it, it's something that I could think of. Uh, Dan put a snowball in Paul's bunk yesterday. That was funny. Very nice. Was, had a mini drunken snowball fight. <laughs> <laughs> 
late last night. That was silly. Nice. <laughs> so. um, always, it's always all on the spot questions that are, I know. are difficult, and you really I'm just going through the files in my brain, right? And just remembering. Um, well, do, okay, doesn't have to be ever. What's your favorite show you've played this year? Not this year, last year. Yeah, this year. right, right. Yeah. You know, I really like playing uh, Louder Than Life Festival. That was really cool. It was a really good lineup. Um, got to see P.O.D. and Chiodos and um, Islander, um, which are, are pretty cool. Um, but it was it was neat. They had it was a big. It was the first year they were doing the festival, but they had um, like bourbon booths all set up, and it, so it was really classy. Yeah. Like, and there were like ten different type types of bourbon and then there was I take it you like bourbon then? Uh, yeah yeah we're all sure whiskey guys or whatever mm. um, they, there's a big my favorite personally nice yeah. yeah a big Jack Daniels section too um, but it's yeah it was just done right um, and bands can always appreciate just somebody um, taking pride in their work and um, hiring the right staff you know uh, true right treating bands well um is <laughs> there are plenty of shitholes and people that don't care about their job yeah. and or their venue or it growing or getting better and that's always yeah. a shame um because it yeah it depicts your show or what you do and lets you suffer when you didn't have any part of it in the first place yeah but um yeah that was really cool um I suck. I can't think of any other shows right now. This tour, no, it's fine. <laughs> maybe Houston was pretty awesome. But my wife came out. Um, they had the balcony closed off, but since they're cool people, um, they were <laughs> able to go up on the balcony and watch the whole show. It's just a house of blues. Um, super high attendance. Felt really good, huge stage. I just, I just love it whenever we have a huge stage. I don't have to worry about yeah. running into other band members. Exactly. So you have all the room for the antics you want to do. Bang, when bingo you... or knocking stuff over. Yeah. So. Have you ever knocked something over on stage like horribly? Oh. Um, like an amp or a mic stand and. I came close to it on the tour we did with Five Finger <laughs> and Bobby and Hell Yeah. I, I slipped and ate it. <laughs> and like fell I tried to recover and I was like back pedaling or whatever you want to call it <laughs> yeah and I just couldn't get up and so I like fell right back into my guitar cab and the guitars are sitting on top of the guitar cab and they all started to fall oh, over no. oh. but Trevor our stage manager ran over and snagged them oh, all man. just before they landed on me so that was a close call right <laughs> definitely uh, I've, I've definitely <laughs> eaten it um, Pretty bad before though. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Uh, I fell twice <laughs> in at Fitzgerald's in Houston. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, I literally fell, slipped and fell, and then got up and then fell again. Oh, and oh. I just was there anything slippery? Like, was there a reason, or I, did you just totally I eat it? Play in my socks, so mm, that's not that's always slippery. the smartest thing. We'll to call do. that slippery surfaces. Yeah, yeah that totally qualifies. Very slippery stage, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I remember Dan just—he was just dying laughing, like while we were playing, because he just looked over and just like sees my feet <laughs> up in the air, <laughs> and that's how he remembers it. And it's—it's it's a really funny memory. Did anyone get a picture? I uh, no. That's I good. think this was in the MySpace days, so yeah, the technology wasn't totally there yet, totally yeah. slamming. So everybody pull out their camera phones. And, Nice. Well, that's probably good then. Yeah. So they yeah, can't like. I'm safe. Yep. Totally safe. Yeah. Just can't do that again. Yeah. 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 So keep that in the back of your head tonight on our slippery stage. Never want to fall. That. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because we all have smartphones and we'll catch it. Nothing sacred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. After this tour, um, we hit. Uh, it ends in Philly on Valentine's Day. And then we fly to Japan. It'll be our first time. Really excited playing Budokan. Oh, that's badass! I didn't even know that. Yeah, we're we're that's psyched. Horrible. I did and research and everything, and I didn't even nice. see that one. Damn it! Nice. That's then, so cool. And then flying to Australia, doing Soundwave, 
for two weeks, the big huge festival there. Pump about first time there too. Mm -hmm. um, and then we fly to Europe and we'll do a five week run with Hailstorm. Badass. So, and then we're off for a week or two. Maybe. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can be family men. There you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, nothing more done that. You can find our music anywhere. Just Google nothing more. But that's it. That's all I got. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for yeah, sitting down yeah, with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Cheers. of course. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Well, again, this is Hannah, Blues Tribute. Thanks for listening, guys. <laughs>